Hi everyone, welcome back. It's like, welcome back to me too. I haven't posted in forever. That's not very typical, we all know that. And I know, thank you so much for those of you that have been emailing and um, even if I haven't been able to respond, um, I respond whenever I you know, happen to get a comment or something where my, I was on my phone and could answer really quickly, but for the majority, I wasn't able to. Thank you for the love. I know that most of you, after a certain while, realize, hmm, this isn't typical. Yeah, I had some, I experienced um, a loss and um, a lot of things happening. And sometimes, I mean, when things like this happen, back to back to back we have to just put prioritize things and as much as readings mean so much to me and youtube this in and it can, will continuously mean so much to me because this is my life and what i've dedicated my life to do you have to just step back and that that also means not being able to respond to people even though you want to because you're energy is limited to begin with when you're going through something so extreme but I'm back for those of you that are waiting for personal readings I did email everybody waiting one um, individually that's what I meant to say uh, person by person and the thing is that in two weeks that I had to step back and um, heal and whatnot um, my inbox accumulated almost 2,000 emails so even at this point I mean I'm a one woman show here you know I still haven't gotten to the point where I have an assistant or anything like that maybe in the future if things start to progress but as of now it's just me it is almost humanly impossible for me to sort through all that at this point so um, I mean I'm gonna try over time but I'm just thinking that it's just gonna keep accumulating because it's like 2,000 and every time I wake up there's like a hundred emails more so and I do expect that and I thank you guys so much for the love I mean on YouTube it means everything but it's I don't want you to take it personally if I haven't been able to answer that's why I whether you emailed me or not those that are have booked I did email personally um, also, you can still book for a private reading because I've changed my way. So if you resonate with me, don't, you know, go ahead. www.starmoonangel1111.com. I would still love to read for you if you are resonating. And I've changed my system. So I'm doing it according to a calendar. So I have slots open on calendars when I do have availability. Um, you know, this is a learning experience. I've always been a reader in person. YouTube is a completely different platform. So now I understand when you're a one woman show, you can't just have open booking. It's very hard to contact everyone if something does happen in that case. So with a calendar system, you know exactly when to, when you're going to receive it. And God forbid, if something does happen, I will be able to either just, you know, click the refund button or email you personally because there are only a, you know I have a limit a limit on the amount of slots people can actually book for in the calendar so if you're interested in a reading go ahead and take a look at my calendar and see when I'm going to be open I mean obviously whenever the the soonest available slot 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 <laughs> will be what's open and when you can expect it Okay, and if anything happens, I will obviously have the calendar in front of me to let you know. That is way easier than, God forbid, something happening, me having to somehow find the strength to email 200 plus people. So there you go. So that's good. So um, I'm here, I'm back, back to a routine. A lot of messages I've been receiving since I've been away. But, you know, again, I had to take care of myself. Um, it really had me down you know I'm you know I'm still this is life guys this is you know life things um, it took a lot out of me and um, I'm a very strong person and um, I know how to pick myself back up when things like this happen it's just you know and this message goes for everybody when things happen because you've noticed things happen back uh, you know over back to back to back in my life and I know I'm not the only one so I share these stories openly with you guys it is just a reminder and I always say it when life throws you things heavy things back to back to back like that you have a choice of either saying why me or trying your best to just regain your strength because there is always a blessing at the end 
of storms, especially it's this sounds crazy and sick almost and demented, but it's almost like you want to wish that you get heavy storms sometimes because at least that change in vibration and the way that I look at it has really changed my life and it is true I found it to be true whenever I have really heavy things happen back to back I'm almost like this stinks but I wonder what it is that they're going to give me what they're going to uh, bless me with because there's always the bigger the pain the bigger the struggle the bigger the challenge, the bigger the test. And the test is to see how much faith you have in the divine and how much faith you have in the fact that you're always taken care of. And as long as you show that you have that faith, the blessing after, it's like it's equal to the amount of pain that you endured, okay? In a positive way. And I've always found that to be true, okay? So just keep that in mind for all of you, you know, that are struggling with anything and whatnot. So there you go. All right. So let's go into the energies. Okay. Another announcement. Sorry, guys. I haven't posted for those of you that are new. I know it's been already six minutes and a half, basically, but I haven't posted in like three weeks. And that's not like me. That I'm someone that posts once or two times per week, at least. So I have to keep people updated somehow. Okay. Um, and trust me, I'm still trying to limit it. Okay. Um, I'm also going to be introducing, um, as you guys know, I've been working one-on-one -on -one with an astrologer, so that's that's very life-changing. I'm going to be introducing, on top of our um, Twin Flame uh, Soul Connection readings, um, Zodiac Sign, Sun, Sun Moon Arising, uh, okay, so, uh, readings. Okay, and I'm going to do that regularly and I'm going to be doing them with a link to Vimeo for extendants. So that's just going to be, you know, something I'm incorporating. So I'm going to put myself on a schedule now that, you know, everything, the storm has passed and um, I'm going to be doing this full time. So I'm going to be posting on the community post to let you guys know when I'm going to be uh, posting and it's going to be pretty regular for the most part so that you can know you don't have to wonder where the hell is she is she okay you know I don't want to worry anyone out there so but that's good you know so you know when to come back and expect your um, readings and I encourage you to look out for those too because they, they tend to be very specific to you in particular and I know there are cross washers and such out there too okay so let's just get right into this all right um, they're guiding me to the Morgan Greer. Yay! Okay. I love the Morgan Greer deck. Morgan Greer deck is a, so vibrant, so colorful. I'm getting, and I'm so thankful, by the way, for the connection that I've been able to have with the divine. The last two readings, actually the last four readings that I've posted, union was so heavy for a big, remember these are general readings, collective readings. So if you have not, you know... If, and none of that, if it hasn't passed, come to pass for you yet, um, that doesn't mean that it's not going to. These are timeless. But I always know in the comments um, that the shuffling that I'm doing is horrible. No, that's not what I'm seeing in the comments. I just, meant, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> um, that it's resonating. It's made me so freaking happy. Look at that. Brand new beginnings. That in the comments, so many people were like, oh my God, she's spot on. I got communication when she said this happened. That just makes me so happy. Okay. That it really did go down like that for a lot of people. Okay. So the energies are like, again, constantly changing as it is. I'm channeling right now. For those of you that are new, I'm a medium. So I'm actually a no tools reader, but I use cards for clarification I'm getting, first of all, that there's heavy spying going on right now, and that just jumped out at me. That's the Page of Swords right now. The Page of Swords is text message, uh, communication, um, also heavy spying. Um, spying, do you not, I'm not getting it in a creepy way, nothing like that, but there is somebody that really, I just, the Nine of Swords energy is constantly all over the place. Nine of Swords energy is this anxiety. So there is somebody that seriously has been battling that, and it could be you, but somebody wants to communicate or reconcile somehow or have some kind of communication 
with you. Um, but they, I feel like they can't gather the strength. They've been trying to see you on social media, driving past your home, asking people about you. I mean, honestly, I mean, spying doesn't have to be anything in the 3D. Spying could even be telepathic communication, which like I said in the last reading, Harvard Studies has already, you know, proven what we already know that exists, coming to you in your dreams. Energy is energy. So if someone is thinking of you or thinking of contacting you regularly enough, okay, they are infiltrating your field, whether they like it or not. Okay, sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's on it's not. And that's kind of like spying, even though you might not be aware of it. So if someone's always wondering, what is this person up to? What is this person up to? What is this person up to? Okay, you're going to receive that communication. It might even give you anxiety. The anxiety that you're feeling is probably not even yours. If you've been receiving a lot of dreams, that's probably why. That person will get thoughts and messages with the answer, whether they're, whether they know how to, uh, you know, understand energy enough to understand that it's an answer. But nonetheless, if someone is thinking of you heavily, then they are on your mind. So if you're thinking of someone heavily, I feel, I'm even getting the sense like some of you are thinking of someone heavily and are like, just please end it already. Go away. Back the F off i just want to go to the supermarket leave me alone and you see it as devil energy devil energy meaning like obsession but it's not an obsession energy is energy so if someone's thinking of you constantly look at the bottom lovers what's at the top hermit exactly i mean you can't make it up oh, I, right off the bat okay if someone's thinking of you heavily okay you're going to think of them heavily and sometimes it's like an attack because you don't, but sometimes you don't want, sometimes you just want a freaking break. Like, listen, I'm not saying I'm not going to talk to this person ever again, but right now we're in separation or whatever. And I just want to like kind of focus on myself and I don't want to think about this person. But when this person's all up in your energy field, I understand how annoying it is if they're not coming forward in the physical because you're still getting that energy. They're all up in your business. And there you go. Confirmation of everything I just said. Page of Swords. Lovers. Okay, the lovers is somebody that is just so magnetically, to me, the three cards that signify the divine are the sun, the lovers, and the star card. Boom. The lovers card sometimes means that there's a, another person involved, a third party, but not in the Morgan Greer deck. See, they always guide me to certain decks on purpose because in the Morgan Greer deck, if you're looking at this picture, they are intertwined. They are only looking at each other. There are two people here. There's not a third person involved. So this to me is very, very, very to the point. You are not in communication. This message that I'm getting is not for anyone that's actually, well, you could be in communication, but you're not together, okay? In any kind of like actual official, official relationship. Someone's keeping to themselves. There's some kind of separation here. That's what a hermit is, keeping to themselves. That hermit has a lantern in his hand, which is a star. Like I said, the star card signifies the divine for me. I just split the deck for no reason. For those of you that know me, okay, um, no. Oh my God, you can't make it up that I split the deck and things like this happen. You can't make it up. OMG, already, guys. I missed you guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my God, I was just talking about the freaking devil. Look at this, look at this, look, 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 look at the communication card. Wait, hold on, it gets better, it gets better. Temperance. What's here next? Oh, oh, OMG, OMG, done. Everything I just said, oh my God. Everything I just said, boom, can't make it up. Oh God, I missed you. <laughs> you can't freaking make it up. Oh my God, oh my God. Is this crooked a little bit? Cause I don't want this to be crooked for you guys. I'm trying to make it straight. Sorry guys. Um, sorry. I'm, if it's a little crooked, I'm sorry. I just, I'm looking up at the screen and it kind of looks like that. I hate having to move this in the middle of a reading, but you know, I'm a little OCD. You can't make it up. The devil card, I called it. Obsessively thinking about you. Obsessively thinking about wanting to come forward and communicate with you. I'm always mind blown 
Not for validation of myself. I know I'm a medium. I know they do this every time. I say the same thing every single time. But nonetheless, they surprise me when I say they. It's the, I work with my angels. There's Archangel my, Michael, my baby right there. I always say I love him. I'm married. Okay, to him. I said the devil card is obsessive, okay? That obsession, that devil energy, obsessively thinking about wanting to communicate and come forward and say something to you. But there's this anxiety. Anxiety could also be the devil card, okay? Um, literally trying to strategize ways, like almost manipulative ways of how they can come forward and speak to you. Because whoever it is, I feel like hermit card, like I said, there was an ending, next to the death card there was an ending there was a separation there was no communication no communication and it wasn't particularly the most positive thing okay and this person there is a magnetic there is a magnetic connection whether you like it or not the force is very freaking strong eight of wands wands also signify um spirituality they also signify passion they also signify communication so that card is significant in so many ways. It's that very heavy, whether you like it or not, spiritual connection that you cannot get over. You're trying to go into hermit mode. You've tried a million times to go into hermit mode to try to balance out, bring temperance, okay? These emotions that you at a certain point feel like this person at a certain point try to get themselves away from you, lovers, possibly with a third party. Okay, actually, I know for some of you, remember, this is a general reading. There is there is a third party, but that's over because the queen of rods, the queen of wands, I always say that to me signifies the karmic situation, the third party situation, but she's in reverse. She's gone. She's so gone that there's a five of cups sadness underneath it. And this person did not want to let go of this other person. This person did not want to let go, but this communication with this person, this third party for some of them has been over. If it's not over, it's over spiritually already. Okay this person when they separated from this person realized it just clicked okay even more they felt sad and you would think that they would feel sad after separating with someone because they broke up with someone they had an ending to the third party situation ending to a commitment that they had some kind of commitment to another person or a person they left you with okay but the thing is that they found themselves instead when 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 um when they separated from this person, you would think that they would be sad about their separation with this person. But no, there was sadness, five of cups. But the sadness was about their high priestess. Who is the high priestess? The high priestess is divine feminine energy in the 5D, okay? The high priestess is not the queen of wands, okay? The high priestess is whoever is watching this right now um, with feminine energy, okay? Um, that's who the high priestess is. And the high priestess underneath the card that signifies the divine, the sun, means exactly what I'm saying. The high priestess is psychic. The high priestess has a lot of knowledge on the inside. The high priestess does not speak. So there is no speaking here. The lack of speaking between you guys is bringing a lot of sadness to this person. And if you've been feeling sadness, even though you're trying to move on, like, what the hell? Okay, like, I have hope, but, like, I'm trying to do my thing. That's why. That's because the divine is... In, is um stepping in and interfering now okay and wanting to bring a new beginning between you guys that's why there's sunflowers here which is a new beginning the sun is also the happiest card in the deck the most playful card of the in the deck okay bliss everything like the ultimate everything it's also clarity clarity to the fact that they still have a spiritual connection hierophant high priestess to you okay and they actually ended a spiritual connection with the person that was their sunshine. And they're sad that instead they picked this queen of wands or was spent too much time and effort and, and, and not, not exited a relationship with this queen of wands when they should have. When in reality, there has always been a spiritual union here. The Hierophant and the High Priestess is a spiritual union. And they realize as much as they try to convince themselves, like I said, a million times that this is all devil energy. This is all obsession. I must have an obsession that I can't get over this person, whatever, whatever. They realize this is not an obsession. That there is a lot of balance here. They've gone within. You've gone within. Gone within enough in hermit mode to find balance and peace within themselves. Okay? To know that actually no. This is not an obsession. This is actually, there is such thing as a spiritual connection and that's exactly what this is. And there is this sadness 
because they brought somebody else involved, but that's gone, okay? And this revelation came very quickly. So what I'm getting here is almost like somebody, they might have known they had feelings for you, but some for this is, again, this is a general message, so this is going to resonate differently for everybody. But for some of you, they like literally out of nowhere were like in hermit mode when they're trying to balance out their energies after a separation from this other person or whatever. They decided they wanted to be on their own and they were searching for stability within themselves so they ended it with this person in search for enlightenment and and, and stability because no matter what they did they ended it with you or there was some separation with you thinking that they would find happiness with this person but they didn't and they always had you on the mind and in that deep thought in their balance they realized okay now i'm balanced now i'm not obsessed but i'm still thinking about this person so this means that this person had like an aha epiphany moment like oh i get it look at his hand you can almost see it he's like oh i get it now i get it i had to go through a transformation a spiritual transformation that's what that is i had to learn that i all of the things that i was all the devil energy that i was actually doing was me putting attention into people and things that really did not bring happiness. It was just me trying to avoid what real love was and they realize that they actually love you. And this is for someone, it's just, this message is for someone, uh, some of you in particular. And this happened very quickly. So this person is actually, devil doesn't always have to be, devil doesn't always have to be like evil, okay? Devil could be like trying to make a sneaky plan. Somebody's trying to make a sneaky plan to come forward quickly and communicate with you and try to bring some kind of stability and commitment and balance in your connection. They're going to come forward with you and, and like have like a sob story. Like, I feel I'm so sad without you. I just split the freaking deck. You can't make it up. This was at the bottom. I'm not going to pull it. Wheel of Fortune, but look six of cups what's the six of cups you can't make it up six of cups is uh soul connections anything related to the past yup look look what just jumped out here this is gonna come out of fucking nowhere and look what's look what's at the bottom the omg like i said i said it i called it oh empress not gonna pull her but there she is I called this whole thing. So that's just confirmation, okay? This person has a lot of anxiety and sadness thinking about dwelling about what happened between you guys in the past. They have realized that this is a soul connection. So that's what the Six of Cups is. This is also a card of rekindling. Rekindling connections. Rekindling friendships. Rekindling relationships. This person wants to rekindle. This person wants to purify this, okay? This person had a tower moment, right? That's what time moment is, destruction. Hit them out of fucking nowhere. Hit them out of nowhere. And now they're obsessing, can't stop thinking about it. That they are actually anxious because of what they did to you or separation with you. And the fact that really, it's not just about, you know, the, the what happened to you. It's deeper than that. Because there's a spiritual awakening here. It's about the fact that they sabotage commitment. That's what and what the death card on top of the hierophant is. That they have a pattern of sabotaging anything that has to do with real love. Like they almost trick themselves into thinking that being with these queens of wands or whatever, that's just the card that for me represents other parties that aren't particularly spiritual or have a deep connection. That is kind of like a defense mechanism they have to not get very close to people. And actually the fact is that they thought that you were causing them some kind of anxiety or disruption at some point, this nine of swords, okay? That's what's underneath the soul connection but the reality is the sun shined its light and said no this is actually a divine connection the anxiety is being caused by your inability to purify the situation but this person's having anxiety right now because they realize the purity of this connection and the fact that they do this is reconciliation the star card and the six of cups hello this is reconciliation this is straight up reconciliation but right now they're having tower moment after tower moment because they're anxious about how to do it. And they're almost sneakily, like the devil, trying to strategize ways to make this happen. To make this happen. Okay? They want to make this happen. They almost like, I don't know, want to plan. For some of you, I see them like planning to be somewhere where they know that you're going to be at a certain hour. Like, like weird shit like that. Because, because, OMG. Because 10 of pentacles, okay, 
because they want to communicate that they want to, they see themselves with you. That's Ten of Pentacles is union, um, stability, stable union. What the hell just happened? Yeah, this that just happened is how they're feeling. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like a freaking genius. That was sarcasm. I get over it. You know, I'm just saying. I don't really mean it like that. <laughs> okay, this is what they want with you. Okay, this is what they want with you. I'm actually, they're actually having me lay this out like this. Okay, so that's that. Oh, yeah. And then look how it ends up, just like I said. They are thinking, strategizing a way to come forward and speak with you. Okay, because they know that whether they like it or not, they want to communicate with you that they love you. They're anxious as hell, so they haven't been able to do it. So they're still in hermit mode, trying to keep their balance, thinking of a way of how they can come forward and reconcile temperance, bring balance to this connection and rekindle because they don't want to come forward and s screw this shit up again. Okay, they don't want after this death of this of this um, whatever kind of connection you guys had even if it's just that they want to come forward as a friendship first it doesn't matter it's still a reconnection of some sort okay they don't want to they want to come forward and they want to offer some kind of like um apology i'm getting um some kind of like you know clarity to you um a lot of you there were things that were happening that you weren't very clear of it was very selfish um openly very selfish but they now have clarity on themselves they've gone within and they've realized these things so they want to purify this but they're afraid they're still in hermit mode because they don't want to come forward too quickly and end things again because they feel like if they come forward to you because of what they've done, you're just going to be like shut them down, okay? So that to me is just a message for some of you that if that is the case, please just try your best to hear them out. Just hear them out, okay? Don't, don't let that queen of swords energy, you know, which is like I'm going to chop your head off, okay? Conflict, five of wands get in the way too much okay hear them out remain the high priestess which is listening knowing the truth of the connection you see her face she's like deep breath like you know because some things are going to piss you off that's the truth but she's keeping it together she's keeping her composure so when this person comes forward because it's going to happen out of nowhere okay acting sad talking uh, you know after an ending with this queen of wands and you're there like i always fucking knew this but you're too coward to say anything and you're gonna feel like why do i have to deal with you feeling sad about a third party situation about a third party situation seven of swords the fact that you have were giving unstable effort and that's what it says here lord of unstable effort you can't make it up Okay, but that's because, High Priestess, you know that there is something deeper here. So when this person comes forward with their, and look what was here, Nine of Swords again. <laughs> again, holy anxiety, holy anxiety. And I'm going to put this one right here because you have anxiety, this person has anxiety. You both suffer from the same anxiety and they're letting yeah, you know right now. You want to see something funny? Look at all these cards, how they're facing. For whatever reason, here... These are facing the wrong way. I don't know why. I don't know why. But when you go like this, look what's here. You can't make that up. Happening right in front of you. Six of Cups. Okay. Next to the Princess of Swords, which is the Page of Swords. Okay. Reconciliation. Someone coming forward. Princess of the Rushing Winds. Lord of Pleasure. Someone coming forward to reconcile and rekindle the relationship. Holy crap. After some kind of deception here. There was deception and happened suddenly. This person has been sad ever since. This, this Queen of Wands did not last very long. Look what's here afterwards. Okay. The Devil. Again, next to the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is leaving somebody... Um, out in the cold, okay? So there has been sadness. This person was deceptive, acted in their devil energies, left somebody out in the cold because I'm getting like narcissistic tendencies. Um, I feel like they, they just couldn't handle, they ran away from the connection basically, that's what it was. There's more to it, I'm not gonna go into it. I mean, it's a, lot, it's a lot deeper than that, but they have gone within and realized why it is that they end things and go after these backwards ass, yes, literally backwards ass Queen of Wands energies when they have the sun, right? 
So after being left out in the cold, they want to come and rekindle this. They want to bring balance, sense of six of pentacles, okay, to this connection, ace of wands, and have a brand new passionate beginning with you. But the thing is, like I said, you're going to have anxiety, high priestess, nine of swords, lord of despair and cruelty, because you felt like this person was very cruel to you. And even though they're bringing clarity and you feel very happy and loving with them, okay, you feel like, what if this new beginning, it is wands after all, is actually based on them just wanting some kind of like sexual gratification, like you have no trust. But the reason that you're watching this reading is because the divine wants you to know to trust this, to just give them a chance. You don't have to look at this, look at this, look at this. Again, at the bottom, you can't make it up. Because I said to make this, this is not going to be as long as my usual readings because I have so many readings to catch up with and people to email. So I will be posting again. Obviously, I'm back. But that's why I'm speaking a little faster and just getting through it. I did just want, I didn't want to leave you guys out in the cold, okay? This is happening as a tower moment, okay? Because this is happening so quickly, because this person left you for someone else or, or showed more effort to someone else was deceptive, okay? They had their tower moment already of how they feel about you wanting to rekindle. I mean, double time. But the fact that the Six of Cups is here twice means to me very clearly that you both on the inside want to rekindle. And that's why they're saying, and you both have anxiety. And that is the demise of your relationship. You're the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Swords for both of you. The Nine of Swords underneath the lover. So that's both of you struggle with this. And that was a big lesson from the Divine Nine of Pentacles. Lord of material gain, nine of pentacles. Okay. This person, I feel like for some of them, they're going to let you know that they got a new job. Oh my God. I just put the deck. Nine of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. Yes. Hold on. This is great. 10 of swords. Yep. For some of them, they're going to let you know that they have balance now and they realize and they want to apologize. They want to have a new passion in the beginning and they want to tell you how they feel and everything that they've done wrong. They had their tower moment. They know they love you. They knew they were wrong. You still have a lot to heal because they left you out in the cold because of their devil energy. And you're wondering whether or not to even trust this. But this is sun energy. This is divine energy. So this is, you guys both have to heal. Look at what's at the bottom here. Oh my God. High priestess again. High Priestess, that's very, very clear confirmation of what I'm saying. They're saying, High Priestess, please trust this Ace of Pentacles, this offer of stability and um, of, a, of a stable new offer of, of love for you guys. And what I was going to say, they just confirmed it again, okay, is that. Hi guys, sorry, I had to piece this back together. This thing died, so if it looks like it's a little bit pushed over, I had to because otherwise the cord wouldn't reach. Anyway... So back to what I was saying. So what they're saying to me here is also for some of them, they got a new job. They were having financial issues and that had a lot to do with their devil energy. Okay. Their feelings of inadequacy, feeling like they weren't um, enough for you, which is weird. Okay. But there's a lot of anxiety here. Anxiety struggles for both of you guys also though I'm getting. Um, but how could there not be anxiety? Because there has been such a... A history of unstable effort I mean it's obviously it's irrational to think that with such history of unstable effort that everything's just gonna be fine every time we talk like no it's not no it's not but there has never been an actual um, actual effort to work on that but what I'm getting here is that some of them actually got a new form of employment or something like that okay and they have, now remember, the Queen of Wands, okay, that third party, oh my God, did I have to just pick this up and the Seven of Swords come up again? Oh God, right when I'm talking about the freaking Queen of Wands, I can't stand. Here we go again, the Seven of Swords, deceptive energy, but then look what's at the bottom, the world's card. That cycle of deceptive energy, they just see, that's the thing that they do with me, and I do appreciate that, and look what's at the top of the deck, you can't make it up. Oh my God, I love it. Right on top of the other Ace of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Pentacles right here. And here's the Ace of Pentacles again. They're like, let me bring it out in, in color so that they can see it. That's one thing that I do appreciate of my angels, okay? Like I said, I'm a no tools reader. I don't need cards to read. I just, because I'm a medium. But when they do pull cards, they, they do pull, and I know that 
they're everybody that has had personal readings has said the same thing like when they do get it's like amazing they basically do it for confirmation because you can't freaking make it up like i said the world's card is the ending of a cycle this is also already getting your spiritual knowledge your epiphanies all of that it's ending of a cycle and just knowing that's done 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 like when the world card comes up there's no going back there's no going back like it's done it's done and what's done well i was just talking about the queen of wands so that to me is obvious okay what i was saying about the queen of wands about this third party situation is that remember that this third party situation does not have to be somebody that's in a relationship with someone i definitely see for the collective the part the in particular the the people that i'm channeling for but again this is a general reading so take it as it resonates oh my god look at this look at this Look at this, look at this. Oh my God, what just jumped out? Look at this, oh, look at this, and then look at what's at the bottom, oh my God. That's just a very clear message. Oh my God, I can't. I'm not gonna pull these out, but I'm just gonna tell you what just came out because they wanted to say it to you, again, for the 80th time. This is like a warning. Five of Swords. There was deceptive energy. Somebody did something in a sneaky way. You feel backstabbed. This is backstabbing. So you feel like you can't trust somebody. You feel like someone's always not telling you the whole truth. And of course, you're not going to feel stable with that. I did say, and that's just confirmation, confirmation, be mindful of being the queen of swords. Now, the queen of swords could be high and low vibrational. There's nothing wrong with the queen of swords. I am the queen of swords. I am Libra energy. Swords are Libra air sign energy. The queen of swords, okay, look at her. And she's beautiful, deep set eyes, full lips, okay? She'll tell you how it is, dark hair. That could be what some of you look like. A lot of, you know, just like Mediterranean features I'm seeing here. I don't know what, that just stood out to me. She's very pretty. Anyway, she has a big rose, right, on her chest. So she's, she's loving. It's not that she's not loving, but she knows what she wants. And she's like, okay, you're going to be sneaky. You have all those swords here you're hiding. Well, I don't hide. I'm not a coward. I'm brave. I don't need your three swords while everyone else has their two swords, you know, outlaying. I don't need a cloak. I'm out in, in, in the sunshine. Everyone sees my face, my crown. I have my one sword, okay? I don't have to backstab anybody. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? And I'm going to love the shit out of you, but I'm going to stick to my truth. And I hold my truth very close to my heart. But if you cross her, you backstab her, she will use that sword and that sword will cut you. That means the Queen of Swords has a very hot temper. She could have a temper, but she won't have a temper if you don't lie. If you don't act like a backstabbing lying person, that's what the Five of Swords is. If you don't act like that, she doesn't get like that. There won't be no shit, okay? There won't be no shit. What is it? Why am I like blanking right now? <laughs> there, wait, hold on. I don't know what the hell just happened to me right now. I was going to say something. There won't be no shit. There ain't no shit. Something like that. But I just got like a million other messages as I was about to say that with my genius self. And I don't care. I'm not going to like cut it out of the video and edit. I don't care. But I just got another random message. Oh my God. Let me put, let me just, I have to, let me just put this aside for a second. I'm going to, somebody got somebody knocked up. That was random. Somebody got somebody knocked up. That's for one person. Don't don't go getting like all crazy over here. Somebody got somebody knocked up and you don't know about it. And that was a deceptive energy. Okay. And they actually, this, this, this person, that was the deceptive energy that somebody, um, you know, why they went into actual hermit mode. Somebody got somebody knocked up. That's why they walked away and they didn't tell you. But um, some of them kept the baby or some of them had the baby and then found out the baby wasn't theirs or they had, they lost the baby in one way or another. I'm just going to say that. Um, I just got that out of nowhere. Oh my, oh my God. And they were just, but nonetheless, that's deceptive energy for not telling you. And um, the star card to me is conception. So that's con that just confirmed that. <laughs> Um, and this person wants to tell you that. Yo, did you just see that flip out? <gasps> they always confirm this is not coming out of my ass. The Empress is the mother. The Empress is fertility. You just saw that, right? 
somebody got somebody knocked up or they were afraid that somebody was pregnant and this person that was pregnant had multiple partners and they didn't know there was a possibility that it, it was their child and this person could still be pregnant yeah because that's waiting and has kept the child but this person's like all anxious going nuts thinking that this child's going to be born and it's possibly theirs yes and this happened because of a third party situation drinking going out while there was a commitment look at the hierophant right there there was a, commi a commitment of some sort okay um there's a commitment of some sort and somebody went away to somebody else during drinking some kind of fun or whatever did what they did knock somebody up oh my god lack of injustice <laughs> justice card in reverse okay um and there hasn't been justice to the situation that's going to come forward for some of you and that that could either be something that happened to you with this person or this person is married you know you guys are in a soul connection this person is married and this happened with another person other besides you guys besides through the three of you does that make sense like it's, it's complicated but this is for some don't go out here obsessing that your person knocks somebody up um but that was very specific for somebody uh so if you've had that thought i'm just saying especially because there's a sun card that's a child the sun is children we got the six of cups twice as children ace of wands is a penis okay and nine of pentacles nine months of conception ten of swords i didn't even notice that until right now by the way after they already confirmed here ten of swords somebody being pinned down okay unable to move and they're going to be unable to move until this person gives birth um and finds out whether or not this child is theirs they're like petrified but they also yeah, look at that third party situation, petrified, waiting slow as hell, Knight of Pentacles. Oh my God, look, yep, look at this conflict, can't make it up. And this is just confirmation of what I said. This is resonating for, because the high priestess is the psychic. If you've had a hunch that this um, pertains to you somehow, or you've had this thought, or if you knew that this could be a possibility, so that's just confirmation. This could be someone with the initials BTJ, um bt or j um that's in that situation this could have happened two months ago three months ago okay this has been the source of the conflict this person's going to continue to be in conflict the knight of swords moves forward very fucking slowly and there's that penis again the ace of wands three of swords heartbreak um pregnant person don't go out here going nuts texting someone you got someone knocked up please no and plus the ace of pentacles to me deceptive energy ace of pentacles to me is also like an egg being fertilized so that's just for someone very particular i'm just letting you know that's not for everybody so don't go out here i just got interrupted um but this person is going to come forward because they were sneaky about this stuff they didn't know how i mean how do you say that to somebody they were being a coward they were being a coward because how do you but how do you say that to someone but they chose to walk away because of it they chose to walk away because of this situation instead of doing the right thing and um that didn't help anything so regardless if that's a, the pregnancy thing is for you or not this person's going to come forward and offer some kind of a stability to you after something's deceptive that cycle with this person though is done they're done they're not trying to work it out with this person Okay, um, they want the Ten of Pentacles to you. Some of them, they also got offered a new job. They were having issues. I'm getting for some of them. The Empress also means a mother. They've been having issues with a mother figure. Um, very unstable energy that I'm getting here with, for this person. I'm going to confirm that. I'm not just making that up. Well, the fact that this is at the bottom and that's imbalance. But okay. What's this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's dealing with a mother figure that's in bed a lot, a lot of demons, could have a mental health issue. There you go. Boom. Okay. They just confirmed that in front of your face. And because that's what I was saying before, before I got cut off. Okay. What's this? Yeah. Okay. Mother figure. In this card, the tower moment for the third time. And the bottom of the deck um, is the five of wands. Oh, and the nine of wands. Yeah. 
And this is for some that are dealing with some kind of a family issue. That's what I was saying before, is that the, the Queen of Wands uh, thing that I said doesn't particularly have to be only um, lovers. It could be a mother figure. It could be someone that they're tied to. Um, it doesn't even have to be a female, okay? That's the truth. It doesn't even have to be a female. But I'm giving, because this is a general reading, if you go to starmoonangel1111.com and book your reading on your calendar or whatever, I can tell you specifically to you. But in general readings, they are still very specific. But they're giving as much information as they could, but it's for different groups of people. But the overall energy is supposed to resonate or will resonate for all of you. Okay. For some, I'm also getting this queen of wands is not a romantic partner. It's like a mother energy. This mother energy has some kind of health issue. I mean, you can see it right here. Okay. She's bound to a bed, but she's dressed. Like she can't think. There's demons crawling in. Like her mind's going nuts. Uh, here's a tower moments. This person has tower moments a lot. This, this mother energy, because I said that before, this empress energy has tower moments a lot. And in this deck of all decks, the tower card here is very different. Most decks have, you know, the the image of the tower that you, you know, you see often. But here it's a female. And this female here, you can see, is holding her hair and pulling it the fuck out. So this person is very unstable, goes into this energy, pulls her hair out, like, wow, it goes nuts, right? And when this person goes nuts, five of wands. Five of wands, which we got before, is... um strife arguing ready to burn shit down conflict okay and this person might also even have some kind of an alcohol or drug addiction um have very narcissistic tendencies and that has affected this person a lot so for some of you this deceptive energy has something to do with that okay um they don't want me to say too much about this situation okay because remember we read tarot to get overall energy not to spy on people so they're not going to say too much, but they want to say this about that for whoever that resonated with. This person, the hanged man is, is the hermit and the hanged man does not take any action. So this is for someone that's in separation. The difference is the hermit. Okay. You're going in for introspection. The hanged man, you, you hung yourself, right? So you are making the choice not to move forward the thing is the seven of pentacles is somebody that is constantly reminiscing and thinking about the past so this person for whoever i just channeled that about move forward because of the conflict with this energy they didn't want to involve you in that chose themselves to hang themselves by a leg however look at their face it doesn't have to be a female has been suffering, thinking about the past and how they handled things or whatever because of the situation. They basically hung themselves by the foot, okay? And because of that, they were deceptive. You ended up being the queen of swords. Could be a man, doesn't matter, okay? Big argument happened because of their ways, even though they might have blamed it on you. But that needed to happen. That was divinely guided to bring you guys strength. But this person wants to offer a cup of love to you again. This person can't stop thinking about you. They want to reconcile. They want to have two of cups, some kind of commitment here. And it was this person that acted sneaky because you can see that their hand is extended to you. And you're like, fucking asshole, why'd you put me through all this? But nonetheless, you both had your things to learn. You're not perfect either. I'm not going to go into all of that. The Page of Pentacles is very strictly an offer of an apology. An offer of an apology and wanting to reconcile the pregnancy thing and the mom thing was very specific to some people for some of them they also got a new job and i'm going to confirm that yeah look at that brand new beginning something that they actually enjoy doing something there you go magician magician someone <laughs> is a trade a skill a trade doing something with their hands possibly could be something that involves you know creating something of some sort or using tools it could be a police officer it could be something like that whatever something that they want to do but they manifested this new beginning this new job you know new beginning and now that they now they can get away from this situation they want to come forward to you they feel what's holding them back is the deception that they had with you they want to close out the cycle and bring stability here so they had a tower moment that what was making them feel stuck and having anxiety is the fact that they're not open about their feelings with you and vice versa but obviously you have trust issues with this situation how could you not 
this person got themselves in this nine of pentacles which is abundant material gain but they feel stuck ten of swords pinned down like their life is still in like not where it wants to be and it won't be they can't actually get from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles which is this happy home you know there you go with the um with pentacles love everything like a marriage they want that with you they could only see it with you they're trying to communicate with you about this brand new beginning that's something else that made them realize it's not an obsession and there's actually a connection here because when they got this new beginning, the only person they can think about wanting to talk to about it was you, but you weren't around because they went around fucking around and screwing you over. So they are stuck, unable to move from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. And that, that's keeping them down, even though they have this beautiful brand new beginning. So they're still anxious and that's holding them back. They're trying to find a way how to communicate, but they are going to do it. So you should just mentally prepare yourself for that happening. Look at who's at the bottom of the deck. Can't stand you. Bye bye there's that queen of wands again what do you want to say about her about this karmic what do you want to say about this karmic sorry yeah four of cups they want to say that this person this karmic, whether it's a mom, whether it's another woman, another man, whatever the hell, this other person, this other thing, this thing that keeps you blocked, literally, look at that wheel of fortune though, yeah, okay, literally was the block for you guys coming together, did everything in their power to make sure this person didn't move on, okay, Oh my God, are you kidding me? The star card next to the Wheel of Fortune. This person was pissed that this person wants to move on. Okay, this person was pissed. This person was pissed. But the thing is, see, you can try to stop a union as much as you want, but you cannot play God. You can interfere. You can create arguments by wishing, lighting some candles, trying to stop someone from their happiness. You can stop them from progressing financially. You can stop them for your selfish reasons. A million times but you cannot be god you cannot stop destiny that's a thing so whether the the path to your destiny is all full of deception and, and crap because of someone else or not you will get your destiny and for who i'm channeling you're, you're destined to be together wheel of fortune for the 80th time sudden turn of positive events okay star card is reconciliation it's gonna happen very soon and if it doesn't happen, for some of you, I'm getting, honestly, within the next week or two. I'm getting September 10th strong for some people, but I'm also getting October. So by October, a lot of you, that's it. But what I'm getting here also is that this person, like I said, was actually wishing upon a star that this person would not move on with you. Or would not move on in general. This person could have even been separated from this person, not even dating this person. This person was like praying that this person never left with anyone else. Like they just could not see them happy because they wanted them all to themselves. But you see, the wheel still gets involved, the divine, and was like, okay, but that's not what's in the, that's not what's in the, that's not what's written for you, for this person. So it's not your job. So this person's still going to put, it is still going to put some resistance. It's still going to make this person feel like they're what they oh my god i just split this you saw that right okay so for some i'm channeling this message in particular is about someone dealing with a mom because i just got that card again again but this masculine took matters into their own hand and laid her to rest because they realized that she was emasculating him basically and not allowing him him it could be her to move forward into any kind of abundance and when they took matters into their own hands sometimes you have to like that they got their new job oh my god again the ace of cups again and when I said new job, to confirm it, I got the Ace of Cups, so that's confirmation twice. They got their new job. They started thinking about you. Things started to become very clear, and they realized that this person was, oh my God, and look what fell out. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, which we got here. 
twice, by the way. We got it three times, but Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. <laughs> this person is like upset about this person moving on. And here we go again at the bottom of the deck. Didn't I say that the Ace of Cups and the Magician confirmed somebody's new job? Confirmed again, Magician. And this person went after what they wanted. They got their offer. The thing is now they're missing having a relationship with you. Okay? Ten of Cups and they're coming after it. They manifested their new job. They manifested their new beginning. Now they want to manifest their new life with you. There's still anxiety because they've gone through hell. They've put you through hell too. You're both healing. But now we're going to be at a stage. You're going to get communication. And the next step is, I'm not saying it's, this is not Disney. Is healing together. You're going to heal together. Okay. But this person's going to come forward and offer an apology to you. And they're saying to trust it. This person is a king now, not a page, to trust it. This person is a kid now, <laughs> see, to trust it. This person, oh my God, hold on, hold on. That was an accident. You got to know when it's an accident, when it's not, guys. But this flew by itself that wanted to come out. Of course, it's the Wheel of Fortune. How many times are we going to get the Wheel of Fortune they want one more. I don't read reversals unless they tell me. This person's still going to have, okay, shadow energies that they need to heal but this time they're going to be very clear about wanting to heal it with you they're going to pour out their emotions to you and to say that they they only see themselves with you that's the truth but they almost feel selfish coming forward and asking for that after everything they've put you through but you're going to find a way to establish some kind of a friendship this person is a king now they're ready to they, they want to have stability now it's, there's somebody that has really kept them back and manipulated the thing is that they realize see the moon card moon means things that run very freaking deep especially with the two aces of a cups and the ten of cups here their feelings for you run so freaking deep like i said from the beginning it's magnetic it's so deep that i can't even put it into words but i feel it as i'm reading it's deep it's deep this is a deep connection. It's deeper than just i get along there's potential here there's chemistry it's deeper than that because this is a um because this is a soul connection and this person has no experience with what that is. Their idea I'm getting for this person of what a relationship is supposed to be and what a relationship is not supposed to be is based on like a chat relationships they had when they weren't at an emotional maturity level enough to even experience what a real true relationship that lasts forever even is. Like an example of that is if you had... Like, if you were one of those people that were in a very long-term relationship from the age of, like, 16 on to your early 20s, and you were with this person for, like, five, six years or whatever, and they were your everything, and you gave your everything, but then it didn't work out, and that set the tone for you being, like, jaded or whatever, right? And now everything that doesn't, that doesn't seem like that on the outside is, like, this is not what real love is, because I felt what real love is. The thing is... You didn't have real life then. You didn't have real responsibilities. You didn't have the responsibilities of an older person. So that those relationships, the love was real, yeah, but it's a different kind of love. And those relationships, for the most part, are not based on love that's actual, actual, deep, 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 the real deep love that's supposed to be what you're supposed to have for the rest of your life. So that's why people that get stuck in, you know, heartbreak from around those times don't actually have a very hard time healing and, and being able to establish new relationships and actually get married, you know, because, and those are the people that end up, you know, getting stuck in patterns of chasing relationships that only go on the surface of like that childlike fun love feeling because that's what they're chasing because that's what they associated with love at a, at a young age. 
that's all it's all beautiful that you know that you experienced that but at a young age you didn't have bills to pay you didn't have this to take care of you didn't have this to take care of you didn't have to worry about this job or this career or this mortgage or the or having children or the fact that you're you know you're about to have high risk pregnancies at any time and you want children the reality is that you know biological clock is ticking you don't have to worry about those things and you end up in a pattern where you just don't find love at all because you're not really what you think is love is not love love is not supposed to be easy and if it's easy it's not love okay love brings out the worst in you real love brings out the worst in you real love brings out the worst in you and wants to make you better okay not in a narcissistic way you need to know the difference real love is hard real love is a decision real love is you resonate with this person in your core like when you have that moment of acting like a child you're the same fucking person and it's that's the that's real connection like you're just the same right you're into the same things you have the same kind of sense of humor like you're the same right that's real love real love is having that and also bringing out the worst in each other so that you can through those experience be inspired to become a better person when someone inspires you to become a better person you love that person that's what that is and i think I just flipped here that through this introspection through this separation through this moment of waiting both of you i'm not gonna say this person realized that and it was a tower moment like oh this is what love is this is what love is because what they were experiencing from whoever it is whether it was a mother figure or a relationship i mean we got it was coming out here so i'm just saying what i see whoever it is what that wasn't that's not love there is a difference between someone bringing out the worst in you to hurt you Someone bringing out the worst in you just because that's what the, the universe is doing so that you can, so that you can get out of the Ten of Swords energy, like I said, and have a rebirth sun card and be happy and be who you're supposed to be, right? This is real love. <laughs> is someone bringing you to this Ten of Swords? Fuck, make me feel like, oh, right? But then when you're at your core self, feeling like little kids on, on unicorns, riding around with some flowers, like, what are you? Yeah. You know, acting stupid. That's real love. Okay. And the thing is, when you walk away from this, you remove this, you miss it. And how do you know you miss it? Because you end up only here. That's how you confirm if it's real love. Because when you remove this sunshine that this person gave you, because it's a real connection, you're left with this. You can't get out of that and try to convince yourself that it's devil energy. But we have realized now there's been like a sense, like an epiphany. There's epiphany after epiphany after epiphany after epiphany. Like tower card, how many times? Epiphany after epiphany after epiphany. Oh my God. Here you go again. How many times did we get the 10 of pentacles? Hold on a second. I'm going to clear this out now. Because like I said, I'm a no tools reader, right? So I, I don't, that's why it seems like I pull a lot of cards because I'm not really pulling cards. Like I'm saying what I'm hearing and then I'm pulling as I'm saying and it's coming out as I'm saying to match what I'm saying to confirm for you guys. Otherwise I would just pull and be quiet and read it, right? So depending on my mood, that's how I do it. So right now I'm just not really focusing on the tools. That's why I'm just shuffling and talking, shuffling and talking, shuffling and talking. And that's sometimes when I do readings for you guys, that, I mean, that's how I do it too. And things will come out for you and you will have no doubt. Okay. By the way, while I clean this up and then go back to this, if you want to book a reading, go into that calendar. It's better than not, than having a turnaround because I don't want people to wait the same. If you want to book just a one question reading versus like, a full reading shouldn't have to wait the same amount. So I just established on the on the uh, calendar has um, the website allowed me to put slots. Like I have a 
I have a schedule, create my own schedule every day, I wake up the same day, I'm gonna have, you know, do the same thing. So I know how many I can do in a day. And my days usually start like six in the morning. I have a certain amount of slots available for like shorter readings, longer readings, okay? So you can see and know when to expect it. And if you don't get it by that time, then I will refund you. I mean, that's the only way to keep things nice and organized, okay? I have to do it that way, I don't have an assistant. Look what we got. 10 of pentacles three times. Are you freaking kidding me? And the sun card, how many times did we get the sun card? Where's the other one? Uh, hello? And we got that queen of wands we always get for that other person upside down this time oh my god and i'm gonna tell you right now this communication this ace of swords communication this moving forward in this relationship it sounds like a fairy tale but when this person actually comes around okay look ending of the cycle of being selfish wanting to move forward in the relationship okay wanting to bring justice here Okay, what's here? High Priestess. Can you even see? No. Yeah, I'll just put it here. I'm gonna split whatever's here. Well, the star's here. Oh, the King of Cups! Yay! The King of Cups is the king. He has all these feelings inside for you. Like, I fucking love this person. This person knows they're in love. This person knows that they're in love, but High Priestess doesn't talk. So you guys are not in communication. So here he is having all this love and all this love for you on the, like quiet on the inside. Like who the hell does that shit? So they can't take it anymore and they're trying to communicate. And this is gonna happen, okay? Want to bring justice to the situation. You've been feeling this. Again, these initials, B, T, or J, says that I always say that when I get that card, especially I just got this card like how many freaking times now? So I have to say that. Wanting to purify this connection, wanting to rekindle this connection, move forward, no longer, you know, be in this selfish energy, okay? And this is going to happen very soon for you guys. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be like Disney. Look, 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 look. This Queen of Cups, you that I was so nurturing, had all this love, has been torn down by anxiety and heartbreak for so long. You guys are like literally allowing all the, oh my God, stop it. This to me, here's the freaking Empress again. Here's the King of Cups, here's the Queen of Cups, perfect pair. They have so much love for each other. In between your love, there's heartbreak, there's third party, there's anxiety. And then this wants to sneak out again. This is for someone heavy. A mother figure or a pregnancy between you two that has caused this, is the cause of this, and it needs to fucking stop. It's not, it's, it's not right, but it is going to stop. There's justice to this, but there's no communication right now. That's why there's space right here. And you're the high priestess still, but he's going to be the hierophant. Come forward and bring this, um, ask for a new beginning. But like I said, it's not going to be all flowers and butterflies. A lot of, <laughs> look what fell out again. This new beginning is not going to be all flowers and butterflies. It's just not. Okay. The anxiety is fucking heavy. So you are going to ask for a new beginning. The anxiety is heavy. This person's so anxious right now overthinking about what, how to move forward, but they're just going to have to do it, and they are going to do it. The universe is not having that. The universe is like, you're going to do it whether you like it or not. Um, but even though you're going to have a new beginning, there's going to be a lot of anxiety that's going to happen between you guys throughout this entire process. It's going to be a lot of work, but you guys are going to make the decision to test it, like, you know, work on it and, and try because you're going to, you have to develop your trust again. But this person is going to prove to you that they are willing to do so. Yeah, look at that. Victory. This person is willing to show you that they're willing to do so and they're going to be victorious. They're not going to give up until you end up where they want to end up with you in this relationship. 
okay? In this partnership with you. They fucking love you. And, and I feel like for some of you, they're, they're just gonna say that to you. I love you. And it's gonna infuriate you. Like, you love me? You did X, Y, and Z? Believe them, they do. It's a lot more complicated than you know. But you both have healing, and now it's that stage in the union where you're gonna, like, go on your path together and heal together and then, like, have a happy life. Um, so they're just, they're letting you know. I got these beautiful cards. Shout out to Mystic Moon. Um, messages. Um, Twin Flame Messages, Volume 2. I got I got my hands on a deck, and I thought they were really pretty. They came in a nice little pretty sack. They're really nice, okay? I love um, the thickness of the cards. They're really nice. So I'm going to pull some messages from this person to you. I'm going to pull three. Remember when I said this was going to be short? Yeah, I'm back. BS never happens. I am working towards a better future. Told you. Didn't I say? Separating from this energy, getting a new job. You're all I've ever wanted. Told you. I'm going to pull four. Am I good enough for you? Aww. Why am I getting so emotional? <laughs> I feel energy and it's just I feel the energy of this person is so sad I will come back for you oh. and then at the bottom I see a little I see a little part of you and everyone I meet I can't take this anymore I'm still haunted by my actions and songs are speaking to me This person, like I said, feels guilty about how they handle things. It's all based on their situations. I told you and like um, things that they've gone through and anxieties and stuff. It's not an excuse, but it's part of their healing. We are not God to judge anybody in their healing process. Their healing process happened to hurt you, but you guys cannot say you're in a soul connection and then expect what they're going through not to hurt you. You're connected, obviously, you know, that's basically what it is. Clearly, you're the king and queen of cups. They've been working towards a better future. They, I said that from the beginning. Did I not? If I do recall, I said feelings of inadequacy. Am I good enough for you? Confirmed. They're haunted by their actions, how they treated of you, but that stemmed from their feelings of inadequacy. Okay? They, but they can't take it anymore. I said this is going to happen very quickly, but they can't take it anymore. You're all, everything that they've ever wanted in a person is in you. And they realize that the, the, the struggles and the things that you guys have gone through Okay? The struggles and the things that you guys have gone through. Exist. Because of their feelings of inadequacy and, and their anxiety. And I said that to you. And if you, you can go rewind in the reading. About why they keep peek, peeking. Leaving real love and going after these certain situations but deep rooted they never felt good enough for you but you're all that they've ever wanted but they never felt good enough for themselves that's the funny part you guys have a soul connection you guys are the same person basically so they love you because they see in you what they want to be but they are what they want to be they are what they want to be what they are what they want to be but they struggled with seeing that you always saw that and that's why they would lash out because they couldn't that that's that's how deep rooted this is i see okay but they've been working towards a better future with you for you guys behind the scenes a lot of you think this person has been like just d dead and dead and gone yep look at that a lot of you feel like this oh my god look at that look at that can't look, look what just flew out you guys feel like you've been dead and gone this is dead and gone but this Queen of Cups, you is, has always been there. Try, they've been behind the scenes working on ending these cycles that they're going through to bring better luck for you guys so that they can come forward to this Queen of Cups. Look at your face. You're like, mm, I'm not buying it. I don't know. I don't fucking know. This person is nothing but a fucking liar, right? But no, look at this. Okay? You've been here, the Queen of Cups, the whole time. Like, mm, let me just sip my cup, my wine. But behind the scenes, like I said, this person has been 
doing you've never left their heart and they you they whether they've been aware of it or not been they've been making moves so they can become this person that that makes them feel adequate for you <laughs> and now that they feel like this person more like this person like they have this sense of confidence now and they have this new job or whatever they feel look what just flipped here they feel this sadness because they're missing their counterpart okay because they walked away from their counterpart but they want to turn this around you've always been there you've always been there look at you lingering you've always been there i see a little part of you and everyone i meet doesn't matter who the hell they've been dating some of them have had addictions to dating websites i'm going to tell you right now because it's instant gratification welcome to 2019 it's that easy to trick yourself into thinking you're the shit with a fucking profile picture like okay but that 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 became an addiction for some people like an addiction to getting attention they've like deleted all that stuff like they really really just wanted to be a better person everyone that they met they always just compare them to you anyway that's the reality whether they have the balls to tell you that or not okay but they can't take it anymore they've been trying to hold it in like by some time because it's already been so long but they can't take it anymore they want to know are they good enough for you good enough for who look you can't make it up sandwiched in between the queen of cups they see you as the queen of cups with double time. Are they good enough for you? Are they good enough for you? Because they're haunted after what they did. That's what they're asking. They're, they've ended this cycle. They, they've ended it. World's card. They can't take it anymore. They know that you're all they ever wanted. And they want to come back to you. Every song that they hear reminds... Every, they have songs playing all over the place that remind them of you. And they're like, fuck, really? Look at that. This time, the Empress is you next to the Queen of Cups. Empress, the wife, the mother. They want you to be the mother of their child. Some of you are going to get knocked up too. I'm saying not that whole pregnancy thing didn't mean to resonate for everyone. But some of you are going to have a baby with this person. But this person's not going to mind that. They want to have a family. They're ready to have a family. They're like, what am I doing wasting my time? Like, come on. They want to have a family with you. Ten of Swords. They've been in this Ten of Swords pinned down energy for God knows how long. They're ready to get out of it and be with you. Okay? You've both been marrying each other. Like, how long did you live like that? Who does that? Look at that. <gasps> Judgment. Reconciliation. 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 Reconciliation after a time, time of being in Ten of Swords. We got the Ten of Swords for that person. Being pinned down and bleeding. In this deck, it's a person. Ten, you know, ten of Swords bleeding because this person literally, look at this person in the back having sex with someone else. In pain. That candle shaped like a penis. You have a sword. You can't even protect yourself anymore. You've lost everything. You lost your confidence. You're just like, Okay. Both of you ended up in that energy because of this third party situation. They can't take it they can't take it anymore. But this to me is also confirmation of what I said someone got knocked up or of a parent child dynamic. This is child, this is parent. Okay? And then there's two people having sex. But this is also cuz I'm channeling it. What I'm hearing some of you are literally going to just be like let's just move in together let's just create a life fine you know that happens right that happens especially at certain ages it's really not that unheard of like things happen behind the scenes like whatever doesn't work out with someone and then like you meet again and then it's like I'm ready for this are you ready for this yeah I'm ready for a relationship too like whatever I'm kind of bored you want to just do it yeah sure okay fine then all right yeah that, let's just go ahead like it's I feel like for some of you it's gonna be one of those kind of situations high priestess and you know it and you know it there we go with that ten of swords again that is what's kept you guys bound and in pain is the fact that you're in Ten of Swords energy, pinned down and in pain, Lord of Ruin, and you feel, High Priest is a psychic on the inside, you feel the pain of this person too. You guys are mirroring each other's pain and it's like, I don't want to live like this anymore. You are all up in my energy field, please. SOS, get me out of it, okay? But the son's like, fine. 
It has to happen because you're both in the same energy and the divine's making sure that you both will continuously be in that fucking energy until you come forward together. But there will be a reconciliation. This person's going to initiate it. And some of you already have a child. But like I said, I've been channeling this for months. Some of you are going to have a little boy. Some of you are going to have a little boy. Blessings. Because it's a happy one. Because that little boy there has string and is the reason that you guys are tied together. When that little boy is conceived or made, your lives are going to be changed. It's going to be like... Everything. Okay? Wow. Let's get a lover's oracle. Remember when I said this was gonna be short? I'm gonna I'm gonna be like literally my my throat's even hurting of how many personals I've sent out already. I'm getting when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. That's what they realized. Okay. That all the effort they've been spending on all this crap is not even worth it. Okay? It's not even worth it. Because at the end of the day, they're realizing what the meaning of life is and they're realizing they're wasting it. With this anxiety and putting energy, wasting energy on, on these false things. And they realize that the connection with you is not false. Let's get some divine direction cards. Heal. Told you. This whole separation was a healing process. You have a natural gift for healing through your hands, words, or actions. You guys have the gift. You've been given. You guys were born to have to go through pain. Okay? And I know what that feels like. Because I feel like I was born to go through pain. Because when you're a healer. I'm a healer. Natural. Okay? I'm psychic, obviously. When you have a mission on earth and you have a gift, I feel like a lot of you have gifts, okay? But the feminine energy always awakens to them first. You are put, when you have something major to do on this earth for others, you are put here to suffer at first. Didn't I say that? Oh my God, yeah, that's how I started this whole thing was explaining that to you. That through... But the biggest devastations come, it's just to remember, not like why me? Why was I put on earth for this? It's to remind you that you have the biggest blessings coming. The biggest blessings. The biggest blessings. Some people even say, but what about, you know, those poor kids in like countries in Africa that are starving and suffering? They didn't do anything. Why do we think that life is only on earth? What makes you think that God, you know, when something, when, when, when they go to the other side, they don't have something major to do there. Do you want a big, a bigger blessing that you could ever imagine? I mean, that really is how it works. And you guys went through this because the time is now already to start the healing process. And I said that when you guys come together... When you guys come back together, it's going to be, you're going to feel it. Because that connection you guys have, whether you like it or fucking not, you can be getting dressed to meet this person. Like, I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. And when you see each other, you're like, oh, it, that's a soul connection, honey. You can't. You're not God. It doesn't go away. And it's not an obsession if you want to run away from it. It's an obsession when you constantly want it, breathe it, I want it. It's not an obsession when you're constantly trying to push it away. It's love. Um, so it's going to be kind of messy. It's going to be messy. But love is messy. And then you guys are going to create something that's unique to you. That's what I see happening. That's what makes it special. Because the healing that you guys go through together is, will be specific and unique to you. Some of you are going to adopt an animal. 
watch this so random or some of them did adopt an animal maybe they're gonna come contact you and tell you that they got a dog or a cat or something animals are important to you animals heal comfort and relax you i've been thinking of getting a dog that's so funny i feel like that was a message for me i've been thinking of getting a dog i almost did i almost did and then i couldn't get the baby i couldn't get the baby i even adopted a cat and then it passed away like four weeks after getting it, it was very sad I feel like they're making me wait for some reason. I feel like maybe I'm meant to get an animal with somebody, like like a family or something. Music. Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. Didn't we get that card? Songs are speaking to me. Wow, they're really confirming everything right now. Recharge. Please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out and look after yourself. That's what was happening. You guys had to recharge your batteries. You guys even hurt each other. You you hurt each other. But it's different. It's different now. Last one. Ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a side. It's not a sign of weakness. Home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. Signs. <laughs> you... <laughs> Oh my God, did I not just say that this person's gonna come forward and ask for your help? You're gonna ask, to, they're gonna ask for you guys to heal together. You guys might even adopt an animal together or one of you adopted an animal. You guys took a time out to recharge, even though there was heartbreak, they are, honestly, you might go to a concert together. This is all like 3D stuff I'm getting. They're gonna ask you to maybe go to a concert with them. Do you wanna go to a concert? You guys connect through music, maybe, Maybe you guys like are the only kind of people that listen to the kind of music you listen to or something and they and they remember you because of that home. They see you as their home. They might have moved there. They might be planning on moving or they want to move in with you. Didn't I say that? I did channel that. Some of them want to move in with you. Okay. And I don't know why they're guiding me to this. I'm just going to pick one and then that's it. Nasty knot. You guys got yourself in a nasty knot. It's nasty, but it's a knot. Meaning, you guys are entangled no matter what you do. You're supposed to be together. It's nasty, but that doesn't mean it's not beautiful. You're gonna heal each other. All right, sending love and light. Like I said, if you wanna book a reading, it's by calendar now, so you can see when I'm available. If you're willing to wait for that for the date available, then there you go. You won't regret it. www.startmoonangel1111.com For everyone else, I have already emailed you and you should be getting what you're getting this week. And that's it. All right. New beginnings. Sending love and light.